Welcome to this VoIP Phone Systems tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to download and configure the Brandstream app for iPhone. This allows you to use this app to connect to your hosted VoIP phone system. Firstly, you'll need to go to your App Store, and if you search for GS Wave, that will bring up the Brandstream Wave app. You'll need to download and install the app, and once you've done that, you'll need to launch it. Once you've launched the app, you'll need to press the settings cog at the bottom right hand side of the screen and that will take you into the settings menu. From there, you'll need to go into account settings. In this example, we have already got an account created. When you first go into the account settings, you'll have no option but to press the plus sign at the top right hand side, which will then give you options as to what kind of account you want to create. Having pressed the plus sign, you'll then want to select SIP account from the menu. In this example, we've already got a populated account. You'll need to get some information from your account manager or customer services. You'll need to know your SIP user ID, which is your full extension number, your SIP server, also known as your outbound proxy. You'll need to know your SIP password or your VoIP extension password. Your voicemail will always be star 95. Your display name can be whatever you want to name it. Sensibly, this can be the extension number or you can call it your name. Once you've entered that information, you'll need to press the tick at the top right hand side to save it and that will then take you back a screen. Once you've been taken back a screen, use the back arrow at the top left hand side until you see advanced settings. Once you've gone back to advanced settings, click into it. Once inside, there's several options that you'll want to consider changing. Random port, Wi-Fi only, default account registration. When random port is toggled off, this allows you to alter the SIP port number. For security reasons, we do use non-standard SIP ports, so this will need to be toggled off in order for you to edit this at a later stage. If the Wi-Fi only option is toggled on, which it is by default, this means that the app will only work when connected to a Wi-Fi connection. This means if you're on a 3G or a 4G connection, the app will not register. We program the app to do a soft account registration every two minutes. So by toggling off default account registration, it stops that notification flagging up every two minutes, which can become annoying. Other optional functions in this section is the DND, which is do not disturb. When DND is active, your app will not ring. This means any calls sent directly to your app will hit voicemail. If your app is part of a hunt group, then this will not trigger the voicemail function. And lastly, we have vibrate when ringing, which will just make your phone vibrate when a call comes in. Once you've finished in this section, use the arrow at the top left to go back a level and then go into account settings. Once you go into account settings, You'll now see the account that you've created, and if you click on this, we're then able to edit the account. We've now got five settings to change, and then the app will be registered. The sections that we need to change will be SIP port, registration expiration, unregister before new registration, outbound proxy, and proxy require. By default, the SIP port is 5060. You'll just need to check with either customer services or your account manager which SIP port you'll need to use. Once you've entered the SIP port, just use the tick at the top right hand side of the screen and that will take you back to the screen that you're currently looking at. Registration expiration, the default is 60. You'll need to change this to 2 and again just click the tick at the top right hand side of the screen. Unregister before new registration is an important setting. If this is not set correctly and you're on your Grandstream app call and a normal mobile call comes into your phone, it will cut off the call on the Grandstream wave. In order to prevent this happening, you'll just need to click into Unregister before new registration and select Do not unregister. Once you've done that, just press the green tick. Outbound proxy will be the same value that you entered into the SIP server field in Edit Account and your account manager or customer services will have given you what this is. Just enter that and then press the tick. Go into proxy require and enter the same value again that you've entered in outbound proxy and then press the green tick. Your phone will then register. 
In order to check if the phone is registered, you can check on the online portal. You can also use the back arrow at the top left hand side of the screen from the page that you were just on. If the phone is registered, you'll see a green tick appear next to the name that you've given it. If the phone has not registered, then this will be red and we would recommend that you recheck your settings or if you're struggling, contact customer services or your account manager.